right, story time before I go on a run. Set the scene for you. Let's, where do we, uh, close all this stupid shit. Where do I start? Excuse me, I was, I'm eating a Mexican lollipop. Of course, I'm going to be belching. So, it's Saturday. Well, it's not Saturday right now, but I'm setting the scene. It's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a story, right? It's Saturday. Pool party. Get invited, go, whatever. The One of the places I work at is hosting it. And dude wants to film a video in the pool. I'm a good cinematographer. I think, at least. So it gets me to film it, right? I'm, fu I'm fucking fucking around, getting fire-ass angles and shit. Phone's kind of broken. It's fucking got glass falling off the back. And I'm filming some shit, whatever. Got to do an underwater shot, boom. I'm going to send it to him. I go to send it to him. It doesn't work. I'm thinking, oh, there's no connection up here. I have a SIM card error. It has SOS. I have an iPhone. So it says SOS, SIM card error. I'm, I'm thinking, ah, shit, whatever. Go home. The shit needs to dry off. I'll put it in uh, rice, whatever. And then I go home, take the SIM card out. It's wet. And I'm like, oh, fuck. This might be, might be pretty bad. And so, okay, whatever. Dry the SIM card off. Put the phone in rice. Leave it there while I go to work that night. Get back like six hours later. Turn the phone on. Put the shit in the thing. It goes right to 1%. Doesn't charge. And keeps re -loop, uh, restarting in like a loop. It just turns on and off, on and off. And then earlier, like, I could send one text and then it would just go back into SOS mode. And I'm thinking, okay, well, phone's broken, whatever. Go to sleep. Not a biggie. Not a big deal, yo. It's fine. Wake up Sunday. Phone is fucked. It won't turn on at all. And so I just leave it in the rice. I, I left it in the rice Saturday night. So it's Sunday now, and my phone is for sure screwed. So I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? Maybe Verizon's open. I have Verizon as a provider. I'm like, bet. It's Sunday. I'm like, fucking yeah. I'll just go to Verizon. Two o'clock. Scoot to Verizon. I'm like, hey, what's up? You know? Phone's fucked. <laughs> Need a new phone. <laughs> He's like, okay, cool. You know, let's see what we got. Um, well, do you have it with you? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, okay. Do you know what model it is? I was kind of like, uh, kind of. And I, I don't know. I mean, how often do you blurt out your iPhone model to people? You just don't do it. So I just forgot it over time. And um, I told him, you know, this, this, and that. Got into the account, whatever. Need my dad to approve, because it's my dad's account. So I need my dad to approve me as a manager on the account so I can see my upgrade options and we can see what's going on with the protection plan, yada, yada, yada. He goes, okay. So you have an upgrade option available. What phone do you want? Um, the warranty doesn't cover physical damage. And I'm thinking, what kind of fucking warranty doesn't cover physical damage? I thought that's what the warranty was for. Am I stupid? Apparently the answer is yes. So, the only warranty I've ever heard of that doesn't cover physical... What the fuck else is the whatever? So he goes, okay. Um, yeah, you gotta get a new phone. And I'd already looked at the phones, and I was going through, and I was like, yeah, I'll just go with this Navy one. $11 a month, fucking $1,100, whatever, fuck it. And he goes, well, wait, wait a minute. Do you have a protection plan? And I was like, I don't know. Call my dad, ask my dad. Yeah, you, you, no, no, he looks on the account. He goes, yeah, you have, a, you have a fucking protection plan. Here, call this number. These people do the fucking repairs for Verizon. You know, the you break, you break it, we fix it stores. They work with Verizon and shit like that. So call this number. It's called a, a, a Visurion or a Shurion or whatever. Call a Shurion. I don't know if they'll be open on Labor Day, but hey, we'll see, we'll see what you can do tomorrow. So it's like, okay, cool. Wake up today, like fucking two or three o'clock eat, I'm thinking, oh shit, I gotta go to work to see when I'm fucking working, because my schedule's on my phone, and I don't know where the fuck I'm working, go to work, I go, hey, I need one, the schedule, oh, well, I'm like, hey, what's up, whatever, hey, um, I need a schedule, please, my phone is a fucking fucked, I also need an office phone, please, go to the office, the manager there, hop on the phone, sure, on. the reason I couldn't do it at home was because every time I tried to call with Google Voice, when I'd enter the numbers, it would interrupt me. I'd enter like four numbers, and it'd be, it'd be like, enter the number for your account. Enter the four, not, in four of the, you know, ten numbers on a phone number. And it'd be like, that number's not valid. I'm like, well, you didn't let me finish putting in the fucking number, motherfucker. Automated piece of shit. So I'm like, okay, I need a real phone. So the only place I could go was my barber, which is cool, down the street. They're closed. It's Labor Day. Or my job. So I go to my job. They're open. Pop in. Yeah, boom. Office. Doop, doop. Picks up, lady. Hey, how you doing? Hey, miss. Um, I need a new fucking phone. And she goes, sweet. Have you turned off Find My iPhone? Because when you get a replacement 
with the replacement plate and you have to turn on find my iPhone or you get a fee. I go, yeah, I tried to do it at the crib. Um, the find my iPhone said it's going to take till October 2nd and it's September 2nd today as I'm filming this video. And I was like, so do I have to wait a fucking month or, you know, is it already off and it's just ra waiting to be removed from the actual account with the devices on it? And she goes, yeah, I mean, if it says it's going to take a month, I mean, you know, we're going to have to see or better yet, I'll connect you to Apple support. I'm like, bet. Boop, boop, boop. Apple support. Hey, what can I help you with today? Of course, they have no information. Got to explain for the beginning. Hey, my phone's fucked. Then fucked. Blah, 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 blah. Call goddamn information. Phone's fucked. He goes, okay, cool. Um, so can you take it off the account? I go, yeah, but it says it's going to take a month. I'm hoping you guys can bypass that somehow because I'd like my phone back before fucking fall. And she's like, oh, well, if he did that online, there's nothing I could really do. I'm like, God damn it. Call back. Hey, Avisrion. God damn it. They said they can't do shit. And it's a guy this time. And he's like, oh, okay, well, um, what's the name on the account? I'm like, third time I've had to explain my situation. All right. You know, name, number, address. Got to call your dad because it's your dad. We need him to send a picture of his ID so he can verify he's the fucking account owner. boop a doop beep -a -deep. We're all good. Here's where we are. I need your serial number for your phone. I say, sweet. I'll go get that. Not. Because my phone is in my fucking apartment. And I'm at my job. Fucking 20 minutes away. It's not going to work. He goes, do you have a computer I can, you can use? I'm like, no. I'm in the manager's office. I cannot use the manager's computers to log on to iCloud. He goes, do you have a device? I said, no. I don't have a fucking device I can use, brother. I, I don't. I just. I don't have one. And he goes, okay. Damn. Here's what we can do. We could bypass it. How about this? I'll put you on hold. I'm like, bet. Goes on hold. I'm chilling. Listening to that. I'm hanging out. Comes back. All right, cool. Everything's cool. We just need you to pay. $99 deductible for a fucking replacement phone. I go, fuck. Didn't know that was going to work. Um, or I didn't know I had to pay immediately. My phone, my, uh, my damn wallet is like at my house. I didn't know I was going to have to pay over the fucking phone. I, 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 you know, I've never done shit before. I, I thought I could pay later, maybe when the phone gets here. I don't know. And he goes, okay, well, do you have anybody that can pay there with you? And I was like, no, like, I don't really know these people that well. I've had six shifts here. This is a brand new job. I'm like, nobody, I can't ask people for $100. And he's like, well, I don't really know what to do because at this point, if you call back tomorrow and it's like 6.56 at this point, it's like, what time was it? It was like 6.50 something. They close at 7. So I couldn't just go home, get it come back and call him again because then I have to wait another 24 hours. Well, not 24 hours, till the next day, I guess. And then the delivery would be a day later. So I was like, and also like all of this processing and things, I would have to do all three calls again tomorrow to explain all this shit to everybody again if we stopped at this point. And that's what he explained to me. He was like, if we stop now, I'm, there's no like case number I can make for you. We don't like do that shit here, pretty much is what he said. He was like, um, yeah, it's, it's like either you replace the phone or you don't. There's no, I can't like half replace it. So it's like, if we stop now, you're just going to have to start from the beginning. And I'd been on the phone for an hour and a half at this point. And I was like, I was like, on God, I'm not doing this shit tomorrow. How about this? You wait 20 minutes, 10 minutes to my house, 30 seconds in and out, 10 minutes back. And he's like, Sigh. and now he's getting real. He's like, shit, I don't really know, man. <laughs> well, he didn't say, he was like, a, he was like, a, I think it was um, maybe an Indian dude, but he didn't have a super strong Indian accent. He was definitely foreign, but he wasn't Spanish. And those are my only two foreign phone operators, so I don't really know what the third could have been. He wasn't, like, from Russia or some country that speaks with their throat. But he's like, yeah, um, look, man, I don't really know because have you ever worked in a call center before? I'm like, no, I've never worked in a call center before. He goes, we're kind of judged based off of one, of one of the metrics is how long it takes you to complete a case, like, on the phone. So if you take 20 minutes, it, it fucks my, my statistics up. I'm like, shit. <laughs> and now I'm kind of thinking, okay, well, how much do I really give a shit about this guy's statistics that I'm never going to see again in my life and my phone, but at the same time, I don't want to be an asshole, but also at the double same time, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not doing this shit again tomorrow when I could do this right now and gamble. And I go, how about this? I fucking drive. I, I, I go home right now. I take 20 minutes, 10 there, 10 back, 30 seconds in and out. It'll be 20 minutes. And he goes, uh, I don't really know. Uh, let me contact my support, whatever. I'll be right back. Boop leaves comes back he's like hey um you know just see how you can do it and see what you can do i go i'll go as fast as i can he goes 
Godspeed. I'm like, let's fucking go. So he literally said, he said, Godspeed. So I fucking put the phone down. Um, my GM, the GM for the place I'm working is sitting right next to me. I'm like, hey, can I fucking leave the phone here? He's kind of chuckling. He's like, yeah, man. I'm like, bet. Go out. There's, it's, it's busy. It's Labor Day. Today is Labor Day. And the spot I'm at is one of the only spots open. So it's a little packed. It's more packed than usual for sure, but it's not like jumping. And so I walk through the crowd trying not to look like a tweaker. And I'm like kind of fast walking because I'm fucking, to fucking haul ass. It's going to be tight. So I'm fucking, you know, get to the door. Us, 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 us. Boop, get in the car. Start that motherfucker. Whip out the motherfucking parking lot. There's a line, two people. I'm like, come on, come on. I don't have time for this. It's exactly 10 minutes home. Whip out the parking lot. It's a complex. I'm out on the street. We're fucking home free for a little bit. I'm flying. Red light. I'm like, come on! I'm fucking flying. Red light. I'm like, fuck! Dude, I hit six of like the seven possible red lights within a two and a half mile radius. It's a city. It's like a town city thing. Ton of lights. So I'm like, fucking goddammit. Light, 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 light. Light, get to the neighborhood. I'm like, there's a light right in front of the neighborhood. I say, I say, swear to God, if this light is red, I will run it. I say, I will run this fucking light. It's tight. It's eight minutes and 30 seconds. I can see my fucking apartment. I just got to get in there. So I get in. Boom, boom, boom. Light turns green. I'm in, I'm in that motherfucker, right? I fucking don't even park. I whip around so I can f- have a speedy exit. Hop out the car. Uh, 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 uh. Hopping the apartment. Wallet. Uh, uh, uh. Get in the car. Literally burn rubber out. And I'm driving a manual car. My goddamn clutch, I can smell it. It's burnt popcorn in my car. I'm hauling ass. Green, green, red. Green. I'm fucking rolling. Get fucking get there. Goddamn 16 minutes, and I'm two minutes away. So I fucking get. And, and the light, and the, there's a light to turn into the place right before where I work at. That light's green. I'm like, let's fucking go. I'm turning that bitch. Damn near flip the car. I'm kidding. I was definitely, I wasn't going to flip the car, but I was, it was like, it was a pretty hard turn. Turn to that motherfucker, drive, turn, turn, parking lot, get behind the car. Some motherfucking kids went across the street. I'm like, hurry the fuck up. Get across the goddamn street. God damn it. And I'm rolling. I'm mm, park. Fucking, mm, mm, mm. bro, I'm rolling. Us, 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 us. Get to the door. Kind of, kind of trotting a little bit. I'm going to fucking take a jog to the back, uh, uh. go to the manager's door, boop, boop, boop. The code to the manager's door makes sense. Not the same code as everything else in the entire building. Everything else in the building is one code. Manager's door, not that fucking code. So I try it, and I know the phone is sitting there. I'm like, fucking, it's now been like 20 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm like, dude, perfect fucking timing. Let me get in. Do do do. Fucking code doesn't work. I'm like, fuck. So I go to the front. I go, excuse me. And some, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, there's some old ass lady, she's like 85, minimum 85 years old, old ass lady talking about like her daughter to my man, the only manager there, the only lady that knows the code, and she's like, oh yeah, <laughs> dude, she's got her popcorn, she's fucking hanging out, she's like, yeah, um, I mean, she's a good girl, she's in college, she's bad at it's like, well, sometimes you go to see movies with her, I'm sitting there fucking about to burst out of my skin, I'm like, Bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up so I can go in here and pay this $100 deductible. I was like, shut up. But she was just such a sweet old lady. I was like, fuck. My manager's not even looking at me. She's face in front. What am I going to do? Interrupt her? So I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm like, shut up. And then the other lady working at the desk sees me, and I see her see me see her. And she's trying to get the manager's attention, but she's fucking just busy talking to this old motherfucker. And then somebody comes to the desk, so she gets busy. The manager's talking to her, and she finally fucking fucks off to go watch her movie. The manager turns to me, I'm like, hey, I need to get into the manager's office real quick. Can I please get into the manager's office real quick? It'll just take a second. She goes, okay, let's go to the manager's office. I'm like, sweet. So I'm walking, and, she starts, and the, the lady turns around and says, well, I'm gonna hope I enjoy this movie. I'm like, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up so I can get in there and pay this goddamn money. I'm sitting there like, mm, fucking damn, dude. And so, so fucking finally, she goes, opens the door. I run to the phone. Hello? Hello? He goes, hello? What? Hello? Are you there? I'm like, yes, goddamn it. I'm like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. He goes, huh? He goes, <laughs> he goes, okay. Take a moment, catch your breath. I was like, 
stressed, dude. I was out of breath. I was fucking stressed, and I was like, Whew. I was like, Whew. he said, he said, take a moment, breathe. I can hear you breathing on the line. I was like, <laughs> and uh, he goes, okay, I'm gonna enter the card, inf- just I'm gonna transfer you to the card information thing. Enter that shit. There's a brief survey. I'm like, man, gotcha, bro. Because you know how they always want to fucking survey. I'm like, I'll actually do this one. And fucking, damn it. Hit the numbers. Boop, 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 boop. Expiration date. Bam, bam. CCV. Boop, boop, bop. Payment process. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, are you fucking not entertained? Dude. Holy shit. Crossing lanes like an asshole on the way back to the fucking place, man. I was rolling, sliding down the goddamn street. It was impressive. It really was. And um, so, Bo, mission accomplished. Hang up that motherfucker. Walk out like a champion. That happened like an hour ago. It's like 8.30 now. Happened at like 6. So, I was just, you know, basking in that. I thought it was pretty interesting. Definitely interesting. And also, what was kind of funny was, um, before I get off... There's a point because the dude he wanted to t- uh, ask his like supervisor or whatever if he could just bypass the find my iPhone thing. And so while he went and did that, he was like talking to me about random shit. And he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go ask my supervisor." Ba-ba-da-ba-da. Put me on hold. Came back and he was like, "Yeah, so it's uh, being discussed right now." Um, I'm like, "Okay, cool." He's like, "Okay, so uh, yeah, it's just crazy how much uh, technology it requires these days." And he's like, uh, do you, what do you think about the future of technology? And I'm like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, it's like a manager and the, G- the GM for the entire establishment in the building. And I'm like, I'm like, what do I think of the future? And they both start laughing. And I'm like, I don't know, I hope AI doesn't take the jobs that my degrees allowed me to get. And they're like, just give the man his fucking phone. That was funny. But all right, that was kind of it.